Hi everyone. Today, the revision class two, that is power system one, in that unit one, equipments in the thermal power plant. Okay, what are the equipments are there in the thermal power plant for generating the electrical power that all will be discussed and that all will be revised for this class. First, uh, selection of a site. Okay, before going to the, before going to discussing the layout of a thermal power plant, we first we discuss about the, which parameters are to be required for selection of a site for thermal power plant. Okay, first one is the availability of the coal. Okay, first we check the, how much amount of coal will be available that are, that will be checking before going to the uh, before going to generate the electrical power okay normally a thermal power plant of 400 megawatts capacity requires nearly 6000 tons of a coal for each day okay for each day every day 400 megawatts capacity thermal power plant requires the 6000 tons of the coal Okay, that's why we, we regularly check the availability of the core is there that will be checking by the uh, running parameters. Okay, first, uh, the power plant should be located near the coal mines. Why? Because this should be located near to the coal mines means the daily we require the um, 6,000 tons of the coal means that the transportation cost will be very high. For, for that reason, that plant will be located near to the coal mines. Then we reduce the transportation cost. Okay, that is the availability of the coal. That is the availability of the coal. Okay, next one is the ash disposal facilities. Okay, after completing generation of the electrical power, some uh, large, a large amount of hash, to hash will be uh, produced. Okay, that a large amount of hash will be disposed uh, for a uh, uh, river or and also uh, any area. Okay, that is the one of the major criteria for disposal of the ash. Okay, for that reason, first we check the ash disposal facility is there or not. Okay, therefore, the ash comes out in the hot conditions and handling is difficult. Why? Because the handling is difficult means the after completing the um, coal burn, some ash uh, will be developed. That ash will be is in the form of a hot condition. Okay, therefore, that handling process is also so difficult. Okay, then the ash can be disposed into a sea or the river. Okay. Okay. then the ash will be disposed into the CRA river. Next property is the water availability. Okay, the main basic principle of that stream power plant is the, for that water is converted into the stream energy. The stream energy is converted into the mechanical energy and then it will be converted into the electrical energy. Okay, that uh, availability of that stream will be totally depending upon the availability of the water. Okay, that's why the thermal power plant, uh, we will select the near to the pond or the river okay the availability of the water means that the water consumption is more as feed water into the boiler condensers and ash disposals okay the water consumption is more why because the water consumption is more means that in the feed water into the boilers we are using the large amount of water Okay, in that boilers, that uh, large amount of water is converted into the steam. Okay, that steam energy is given to the turbine, then we generate the mechanical energy. After that, that mechanical energy is given to the alternator, then it will be converted into the electrical energy. Okay, that's why the, the feed water into the boiler is the one of the major important consideration for generation of that electrical 
power. Next, coming to the condensers, in that also we are using the um, large amount of water. Why? Because we are using the large amount of water means the, in the steam power plant or the thermal power plant, the recycling process is also one of the major important consideration. What is meant by the recycling? Recycling means the, after completing generation of that steam energy into the mechanical energy, some amount of the stream energy is um, wasted. Okay, then that stream energy is collected to the condensers and then it condenses that steam energy into the hot water nor and then it will be converted into the normal temperature water. Again, it will be given to the economizer and uh, again it will be given to the boilers. Okay, this is called as the recycling. Okay, this is called as the recycling process. Okay, that is the operation of that condenser and for the ash disposal, um, for um, disposal of the that ash, we all, we require the a large amount of water like sea or the river okay that ash will be disposed in the sea or the river okay that is the one of the major important consideration for availability of the water in the thermal power plant okay next uh, hence the plant should be located near to the water source and for that considerations that uh, the, power, the power plant will be located near to the water sources that means the river or the pond okay next one is the transportation facility transportation facility okay that is public proper public problem means that the plant should be far away from the residential area to avoid nuisance from the smoke fly ash and noise okay that's why we require the transportation facility for the people or the laborers okay and also the uh, transport uh, for that coal also okay that is the one of the major consideration for the hmm, for the selection of the thermal power plant okay next one is the nature of the land okay many power plants have failed due to the weak foundations okay that means the land should uh, have good bearing capacity to withstand the dead load of the plants okay mm. and while selecting the land that is the uh, we all we observe the which type of land is there for uh, constructing or designing that steam energy or the steam power plants that all will be considered okay for uh, Considering this nature of that land or uh, with a uh, by failure of that uh, uh, selection of the land and uh, therefore some drawbacks are to be obtained for the foundation of the thermal power plant or the stream power plant. Okay, that means the land should soil should have the good bearing capacity to withstand the lead load plants. Okay, next one is the... Um, Next one is the uh, availability of the water transportation facility and also ash disposals and on waste disposals and availability of the coal. Okay, that are the major requirements for selection of the um, thermal power plant. Okay, that is the major requirements for selection of a thermal power plant. Okay, next coming to the various equipments in the thermal power plant. Okay, what are the equipments are there in the layout of a thermal power plant? Okay, in the previous class, we already seen or discussing about the layout of a thermal power plant. Okay, basically the thermal power plant having the major components that is the boilers, economizers, air preheaters and also turbines, alternators, etc. are the major components for generation of that electrical power. Okay, therefore, in that uh, thermal power plant, the major equipments are, first one is the coal handling plant. Okay, what is the purpose of coal handling and the coal storage plant? 
why we we are using the separate uh, system or separate block for that coal handling and the coal storage plant means the we require the large amount of coal per day okay that means like for example a 400 megawatt station requires the 6000 tons of the coal okay 6000 tons of the coal for each day okay that coal is stored in that coal storage plant only okay that coal is transposed from the coal mines and then it will be stored in the coal storage plant okay after storing that coal that coal will be available in the form of a large pieces okay that large pieces occupies the so much amount of the space okay that's why we reduce the uh, occupation of that space that handling process will be one of the major important consideration and by after completing the handling process of that coal then automatically the burning process of that coal is also increases it will be quickly generate the heat energy okay that's why we are using the handling plant okay we are um, in the thermal power plant we are having the two types of handling plants that is the first one is the coal handling plant next one is the ash handling plant okay in the coal handling plant by using this handling plant we increase the efficiency of a thermal power plant also okay by using the coal handling plant the efficiency of a thermal power plant is also increases okay for um, for uh, using the coal uh, handling plant and the ash handling plants uh, we all we also reduce the occupation of the space or the storage space okay this is the one of the major important considerations for usage of the handling plants for usage of the handling plants okay therefore the coal is transported to a power stations by rail or road and stored in the coal storage plants okay by using the railways or the roadways that uh, uh, and stored in the coal storage plants then it will be pulverized okay pulverization means the that large pieces of that coal will be converted into the small amount of the pieces okay it is called as the pulverization okay it is called as the pulverization okay the function of the coal handling plant is automatically automatic feeding of the coal to the boiler furnace okay the purpose of the coal handling plant is the automatic feeding of coal of a coal to the boiler furnace okay next one is the next one is the a thermal power plant burn enormous amount of coal okay the thermal power plant burns enormous amount of coal hmm, enormous amount of coal okay 200 megawatts plant may require around 2000 tons of the coal daily okay that means a 400 megawatts plant requires the 6000 tons of the coal and 200 megawatts plants requires the around 2000 tons of the coal daily okay this is the coal handling plant and also coal pulverization plant next one is the pulverization plant what is meant by the pulverization okay in the modern thermal power plant in the modern thermal power plant the coal is pulverized that is the that is ground to dust like size and carry to a furnace into the stream of hot air okay the pulverizing is a meaning of exposing a large surface area uh, large surface area hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
large surface area to the action of a oxygen and the consequent helping of a combustion okay pulverization is the means of exposing a large surface area after completing the pulverization process we improve the efficiency of the coal burning okay the pulverization process consisting of a three stages uh, the three stages that is first one is the feeding drying hmm, drying and uh, grinding okay feeding drying and also grinding okay these are the major three important stages in the pulverization process of a coal okay next coming to the boilers okay boilers okay we already well known about the boilers okay what is meant by the boilers and also what is the function of the boilers okay a function of a boiler is to generate the steam at a desired pressure at a desired pressure and temperature by transferring the heat produced by burning of the coal three okay by burning of the coal three okay the function of the the function of a lamp hmm the function of a boiler is to generate the steam desired pressures steam desired pressure and temperature by transferring heat produced by burning of the coal by burning of the coal okay the function to change the water into the steam steam okay the function is to change the water into a steam okay next one is the turbines okay what is meant by turbines okay in the thermal power plant generally three turbines are used to increase the uh, to increase the efficiency okay to increase the thermal power plant generally three turbines are used increases the efficiency okay that is first one is the high pressure turbines next manitra vella okay next uh, high pressure turbines next intermediate pressure turbines next uh, low pressure turbines okay normally the turbines are classified into three types okay the turbines are classified into three types high pressure intermediate pressure and low pressure turbines first of all what is meant by turbines okay the turbines are used to convert mechanical energy sir convert steam energy into mechanical energy okay the output of these turbines are the steam and mechanical energy the input for that turbine is the um, input for that turbine uh, is the steam energy okay therefore normally the turbines are classified into three types that is high pressure uh, turbines next one is the intermediate pressure next one is the low pressure turbines okay these are the various types of your turbines next one is the condensers okay the surface condensers is a shell and tube heat exchangers where cooling water flows through the tubes okay what is meant by the condenser okay by using this condenser the water is condensated condensated means the um, after completing the turbine process some amount of steam energy is wasted that amount of steam energy is again flowing through the condenser then this water is converted into the uh, this water is converted uh, uh, into the normal temperature water okay therefore the surface condenser is a shell and a tube heat exchanger where cooling water flows uh, water flows through the tubes and the exact steam okay and the exact steam fed into the shell surrounded the 
tubes okay as a result the steam condenser outside the tubes okay first what is the process of condenser condenser means that it condenses the water condenses the water means the uh, it combines the hot water and the normal temperature water then again uh, then uh, again it will be converted into the hmm, hmm. it will be uh, condensate the waters condensate the water and then it will be converted into the normal temperature water and then it will be recycling the process okay that is the main purpose of a condenser okay next one is the cooling towers and the ponds okay cooling towers and the ponds okay a condenser a condenser a condenser needs a hot quantity of water to condense it the uh, to condense it the hot hmm, quantity of water uh, to condense it the steam okay most plant uses the cloud cooling systems where warm water coming from the condenser is uh, the uh, warm water is coming from the condensers condensers is closed mostly depending uh, mostly plants are used the plants are used uh, use cooled cooling systems where the warm water coming from the condenser is so cooled okay next coming to the warm water that will be so cooled next cooling towers is a steel or a concrete hyper concrete hyperbolic structures with the height of a 150 meters with the height of a 150 meters okay the purpose of the cooling towers and the power ponds means the hmm, a pond means the and uh, the a condenser needs the hot quantity of water to condense the steam okay that means the large amount of water is required to convert the hot water into the normal temperature water okay most plants use the cooling uh, most plants use the cooling systems okay this is the cooling towers and the ponds okay next one is the feed water heaters okay feed water heaters improves the overall plant efficiency okay by using the feed water heaters it will be improved by the it will be improved by the hmm, okay feed water heating improves the overall efficiency okay the, the thermal station due to the cloud water entering the boiler drum are avoided okay therefore the quality of the steam produced by the boiler is increased okay therefore the quality of the steam produced by the boiler is increased by using the feed water uh, heaters by using the feed water heaters okay next uh, hmm, next uh, economizer so flue gases coming out of the boiler carry out of the heat the economizer extracts a part of this heat from the flue gases and uses it for a heating the feed waters okay the saving coal consumptions and the high hmm, coal consumptions and the higher boiler efficiency sir okay first of all what is meant by the economizer economizer means the hmm, the flue gases coming out from the boilers that will be carried out of heaters okay normally an economizer uh, normally an economizer extracts uh, water okay this is the main purpose of the condenser sir next one is the air preheaters why because we are using the air preheaters okay what is meant by the air preheaters okay by using the air preheaters we improve the temperature of the thermal power plant okay we improve the thermal power plant uh, okay 
air preheaters the function of the air preheater is to preheat the air before entering the furnaces okay that is the major important consideration for usage of the air preheaters okay by using the air preheaters we increase the pressure of the steam energy then automatically very quickly that steam energy is converted into the mechanical energy after that that mechanical energy is converted into the Hmm, electrical energy okay that is the main function for the usage of the air preheaters okay by using the air preheaters okay by using the air preheaters we improve the efficiency okay by using the air preheaters we improve the efficiency of a steam power plant ओके मैं एयर प्री हीटर्स मैं एन के यूज नार्मल ऐ मन की मेन ऐ थर्मल पवर प्लांट जगे आपरेशन मन को यूजनी को बर्न चय वीट एनर्जी तो यदा अवैलबिटी आफ् वाटर उवैलबिटी आफ् वाटर मैं स्टीम ऐ कन्वर्टा ओके आ स्टीम प्रेजर तो टर्बन ब्लेड अने मन की रोटेट दा तो मन का मेका एनर्जी अने मन की डेलीवर्ड ओके दट मेकानिकल एनर्जी इज गिवे दलटर्नेटर दट वि कन्वर्टेड इन टू दलक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी ओके दट ईज द मेन आपरेशन इन देश आफ ए स्टीम पवर प्लांट आर् दर्मल पवर प्लांट ओके इन दट ने स्टीम पवर प्लांट आर् दर्मल पवर प्लांट मीन द that will be that will be improves the overall system efficiency okay the function of the air preheater is to preheat the air okay the main purpose of this air preheater is to preheat the air okay before entering the furnace by utilizing some of the by utilizing some of the water by utilizing some of the energies left in the flue gases okay before exhausting them to the atmosphere after a flue gases leave the economizer some further heat can be extracted from them and to use it to heat coming heat uh, and to heat coming okay this is the main operation or the main function of the air preheaters okay next one is the ash handling plant okay what is meant by the ash handling plant okay why we are using the ash handling plant okay the main purpose of the ash handling plant is the the disposal of the ash the ash is very easy after completing the handling or the pulverization process okay the ash from the boiler is collected into two forms okay the ash from the boiler is to collect the uh, two forms okay is to collect the two forms bottom ash it is a waste which is dumped into the ash ponds okay fly ash fly ash is separated from the flue gases okay that fly ashes is separated from the flue gases okay why because we are using the ash handling plants means the after completing the operation of our burning of that coal uh, a large amount of ash will be produced okay that large amount of ash will be is in the um, a uh, large quant and the big sizes then uh, it occupies the more amount of the space and also the disposal of the ash is very difficult okay that's why we are using the uh, we are using the handling of the ash okay that's why we are using the handling uh, handling of the ash is the one of the major Uh, important criteria in the case of a thermal power plant or the steam power plant okay next one is the water handling plant okay next one is the water handling plant okay water in the power plant is used for producing of steam is you water in the power plant is used for production of the steam for rotating turbines cooling purpose 
and also raw water for cooling purposes of stream condensed raw waters condensed raw waters okay uh, water handling plant means the by using the water we produce the stream energy okay that's why we require the large amount of water okay we requires the large amount of water hmm, for production of the electrical energy okay about 4 cubic meters and lots per day per a minute okay this is the various equipments are there in the case of a thermal power plant okay in the normally the thermal power plant having the major equipments are the boilers turbines alternators okay boilers turbines alternators okay these are the major equipments the uh, that will be produced in the water storage plant okay next coming to the advantages and disadvantages of a thermal power plant okay what are the advantages are there for what are the advantages are there in the case of a thermal power plant and what are the disadvantages are there in the case of a thermal power plant okay first one is the advantages okay the advantages of the thermal power plant is the uh, the fuel used is a uh, quite cheap okay the fuel means the coal okay the cost of that coal is very cheap okay the fuel is used as the um, fuel is used as a um, quite cheap okay less initial cost as compared to the other generating stations why because the initial cost of this thermal power plant is less means the we are using the coal as a dielectric medium okay that is that means the coal as the medium sorry the coal as the material or the fuel uh, fuel then the cost of that fuel is very less when compared to the other stations that means the nuclear power stations okay that means the nuclear power stations okay that is the main reason for the mm, that is the main reasons for the selection of the thermal power plant okay therefore the fuel is used is a quite cheap next one is the less initial cost as compared to the other generating stations next one is it can be installed at a, a it can be installed at any place uh, uh, at any at any place in respect to of the capacitance okay it can be used uh, it can be installed at any places okay that means uh, the pollutions uh, from that nuclear uh, sorry the pollutions for that steam power plants are uh, less uh, less compared to the nuclear power plants okay the coal can be transported to site of a plant by a rail or the road okay we require the railroad and also roadways uh, for uh, transporting of that coal and also uh, and also transportation facilities 